Hello my friends! In this tutorial I am going to show you how to record your screen on your camera. There's a few things you need in order to be able to do this. So we're gonna get a little bit closer here at the desk and we'll see exactly how we do that. So what we need for this, it's a camera. I have my Sony A1 over here. You need an external recorder. I use my Atomos Ninja 5. You need an SSD card. I have it over here in this caddy. You need an HDMI cable and a battery. Let's put all this together, see how it works. First, I will take my recorder and insert my SSD card, just like that. Then I'll take my battery and put it in. I have my HDMI cord. Connect that as well. And then, let's see. Maybe I should swap them so you can see. And then I will attach it to my camera. Can you see that on the screen? Let's see. Kind of, not really. Maybe like that. And now let's turn on the recorder. All right, so when I turn it on, now you can see what my camera sees, but you don't see the menu, and I will show you how to do that and how to record the menu and the screen. So now you have to go into the camera. Can you see my camera screen over here? Let's see. You go into the camera, you go to the yellow briefcase, page 51 out of 52 for me, HDMI info display, and turn that on. And you see now you can see it. You can see my menu. It was right over here. HDMI info display, yellow briefcase, turn it on. And with that on, now you can see exactly what my camera is seeing, and you can see my focus. You can see my settings. You see? And now if I want to record it, let me just acquire focus on this little character. And now if I want to record my screen, the way my camera sees it, you um, tap the screen and you have this red button over here to record. And now, I don't know if you can see on the video, but you have this red outline saying that it's recording. And now the recorder is recording my camera screen. So if I move it, you can see that you see what you're seeing and it's recording. And that's how you record your camera screen. And then once you record your screen, you need to use one of these uh, cables so you can, you know, plug in your SSD card into your computer and extract the data from there. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I will see you in my next video.